welcome to the Christian ceremony. Welcome to the presentation ceremony. Vehicles, motorbicycles, computers, and laptops that will be presented to the various implementing partners who are ready to implement the project countrywide. And today's ceremony will have two speakers. We'll have the World Bank TTL and the Honorable Minister of Health will make a short statement and then um, present the vehicles, motor bicycles and laptops to the various I will invite Dr. Sam Mills to join us in the program. Honorable uh, Dr. Amadou Lamin Samate, uh, Minister of Health, Solicitor General, the Permanent Secretaries uh, present, with all protocols observed. The development objective of the uh, Sub Saharan Africa demographic dividend and empowerment uh, projects, uh, SWEG uh, Plus for short, is to increase girls and women's, young women's access to learning, uh, to economic opportunities, to health services, and also strengthen the institutional framework for gender equality. The original SWEG project involves nine countries. On, the, on September 29, 2023, the World Bank Board Executive Directors approved 25 million US dollars for the Gambia to join the SWEG Plus uh, regional countries. Of the five countries, that the board approved the project in uh, September last year. Only the Gambia has met all the project effectiveness conditions and the project implementation. We just wrapped up a five day uh, project launch mission where we all, all those uh, collectively. Uh, look at the activities to be implemented, and we have approved the activities for uh, the year 2024. The UNFPA SWEG Plus Regional Secretariat and the UNFPA Country Office also participated fully in the mission. This is truly a multi sectoral project, and as you can see behind me. With all the ministries represented here, we have Ministry of Finance and Economic Affairs, we have Ministry of Gender, uh, Children, and Social Welfare. We have the Office of the Vice President uh, represented as well, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Basic Education, Basic and Secondary Education, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Ministry of Justice and several other agencies, including National Corporation, Commission Secretariat, the uh, National Nutrition Agency, the National Federation of Women, the Female Lawyers Association, and several other organizations. It is a huge uh, collaborative effort, and it is the Ministry of Health Project Coordination Unit that is managing the whole project. And I want to take this single opportunity to congratulate the government of the Gambia for allocating $1 million as its contribution to the implementation of the national The project is, we are delighted that the project is up to a good start. A lot of progress has been made in the short period that the project has been approved. It also draws on the lessons learned from other sweat countries that have been implementing uh, the regional projects. Uh, without further ado, we are here today, as you can see, 
on display. We have several items that have been procured. Uh, we have uh, 14 vehicles, 18, motor uh, 18 uh, motorcycles, 20 bicycles, 60 laptops, 60 tablets. All these items have been procured so that the implementing partners will be able to reach girls and young women across the country with the sweat plus uh, interventions. Thank you very much for your attention. Those words of encouragement and also for the support and the continuous guidance. I now have the honor to invite the Honorable Minister of Health. It's always difficult to introduce your boss, but for me it's easy. This is the man of many forces. We have the first treatment center in the Gambia under his leadership. We're having the first drug and food control lab under his leadership. Many forces. We have been the first ministry to have EHR under his leadership. ECRBS under his leadership. Health insurance under his leadership. And many more touch wood. And I believe. I would say I have the best minister. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Fanta. With that degree of introduction, I wonder if I'm not, I'll be able to say what I had planned to say. It did all get mixed up. Uh, but I didn't also know that uh, Madam Fanta has been taking count of what we've been doing. But certainly, this cannot go ahead without the participation of the partners we have here and the teamwork. The permanent secretary, Minister of Health, and other permanent secretaries here, the Solicitor General, and Legal Secretary, Ministry of Justice, the directors here present, the project coordination team led by the coordinator, the World Bank tax team leader, who spoke so eloquently just a few minutes ago, and who has been behind this partnership and his team, Madame Nafisadu, our own sister, who has been behind the scenes running every day to ensure that the Gambia web project is a success and she is right here. The WHO country representative, the women bureau head of Gambia, and all the other partners who are here with us representing various institutions, as mentioned by the World Bank Health Task Team Leader. This is another show of the commitment of the government of His Excellency President Adam Abaro to elevating the standard of living of the people of this country, especially the women and children. The approval by the World Bank of the SWEP project is another phenomenal example of the bank's confidence in the leadership of His Excellency, President Adam Abaro. <laughs> in delivering to the people of this country. And we are equally humbled by the trust and confidence the bank and other partners have in the ability of the Minister of Health to coordinate the implementation of this project. That shows that the bank is very happy with our project coordination unit, whose capacity have been built immensely over the period. But it's important to know that the bank or any other partner would never support 
what we are doing if we didn't maintain the basic principles upon which every partnership is based or should be based. That is transparency, accountability. These form the bedrock and of course efficiency and judicious use of the resources that are put to our trust. It is not an easy task to be entrusted with the responsibility to deliver services to the people. It's a big responsibility on our shoulders as a government, equally speaking, on the shoulders of all our members, without whose hard work, dedication, and commitment, no project will succeed. These are the people who are lined here. We sit on the leadership seats, we coordinate, we facilitate, but we wouldn't be able to succeed an inch without the hard work of these people who are surrounding us every day and every night, who do the regular work, and they deserve a big round of applause. The sweat project is a high impact project. The issue of women and children in the Sahel has been at the forefront. And believe me, no development is possible without empowering, protecting the women and children. And so you, you, you all agree. And you can see by the sheer number of their presence here, we know that women need to be supported. And we've also seen how those who have been capacitized how they deliver. I'm not saying they overtake the men, but when you give them a task, they ensure that they deliver to the best of their ability. That will make the men jealous. But I think it's a fact, and they need to be empowered, because empowering women and children, empowering the girls, is empowering society, and men, and boys are also part of that society. So we'll continue to endeavor to empower all the women and girls. This presentation is phenomenal. These items, these vehicles, these laptops, these motorbikes and bicycles, and the tablets will enhance the delivery of those services that are badly needed. And this go a long way to complement government efforts in our delivery stride. We can see that His Excellency's government is committed strongly to ensuring that service quality in this country is optimal. We don't want any substandard service in this country anymore. We want the best, and Gambia can be the best. We have the people. We can make it the best, and we have the leadership that is committed, that is having sleepless nights, just because the leadership wants to make this country an example for the entire region of Africa and even beyond. What we are receiving today, we urge all the beneficiaries to know that this is public property is when they are donated to the people, they become government property and they should be valued. We should take very, very good care of them and we should ensure that they receive maintenance services when due and we should ensure that we take, we keep account of them, a very good inventory system because every now and then we are going to check whether they are around. And I'm sure they've all been leveled. So if they've not, they should be leveled. And someone ensures that nothing is lost or nothing is missing and ensures that they are all functional and they should be used for the purposes that they, they are being donated. At this juncture, I thank you all. We'll do the formal handing over, but we say we are impressed and this partnership should continue with this partnership, we can move forward together. 
social services can only be provided if we strengthen the teamwork, the team spirit. In fact, the whole of nation building is teamwork. And each and every one of us has a, an important role to play. Before closing, I apologize for not extending my salutation for the men and women of the media who have been everywhere. We are to ensure that there's adequate hope. Thank you very much. I will announce the list of distribution and then we'll have the various institutions to come by the laptop and the cafe to, the, to have a symbol to be handing over. As Honorable Minister said, we are going to itemize everything and ensure that we can do your hour later. Health Ramka unit will have two vehicles and ten motor bicycles. National Population Commission Secretariat will have two vehicles. Ministry of Education will have one vehicle. Ministry of Youth and Sports will have one vehicle and eight motor bicycles. <laughs> Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Welfare will have three vehicles. National <laughs> Pharmaceutical Services will have one vehicle for the last mile. Ministry of Justice will have one vehicle for the marriage registration and legal platform. And PCU will have three vehicles for coordination. We can have the vehicles moving round, so we can have all the vehicles rotating round whilst uh, we do the presentations of the laptops and that of the. Good. Okay. Okay. Okay.